Shemot Exodus 37 and Betzalel made at the Ark of Shittimwood. Two cubits and a half was the length of it, and a cubit and a half the breadth of it, and a cubit and a half the height of it. And he overlaid it with pure gold within and without, and made a crown of gold to it round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold to be set by the four corners of it, even two rings upon the one side of it and two rings upon the other side of it. And he made staves of shittim wood and overlaid them with gold. And he put at the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark to bear at the ark. And he made the mercy seat of pure gold. Two cubits and a half was the length thereof, and one cubit and a half the breadth thereof. And he made two kerovim of gold. Beaten out of one piece made he them, on the two ends of the mercy seat. One keruv on the end of this side, and another keruv on the other end of that side. Out of the mercy seat made he at the keruvim, on the two ends thereof. And the keravim spread out their wings on high and covered with their wings over the mercy seat with their faces one to another. Even to the mercy seat word were the faces of the keravim. And he made at the table of shittim wood two cubits was the length thereof and a cubit the breadth thereof and a cubit and a half the height thereof. And he overlaid it with pure gold, and made thereunto a crown of gold round about. Also he made thereunto a border of a handbreadth round about, and made a crown of gold for the border thereof round about. And he cast for it four rings of gold, and put at the rings upon the four corners that were in the four feet thereof. Over against the border were the rings, the places for the staves to bear at the table. And he made at the staves of shittim wood and overlaid them with gold to bear at the table. And he made at the vessels which were upon the table and at his dishes and at his spoons and at his bowls and at his covers to cover with all of pure gold. And he made at the menorah of pure gold, of beaten work made he at the menorah, his shaft and his branch, his bowls, his knops, and his flowers were of the same. And six branches going out of the sides thereof, three branches of the menorah out of the one side thereof, and three branches of the menorah out of the other side thereof. Three bowls made after the fashion of almonds in one branch, and a knop, rather, a knop and a flower, and three bowls made like almonds in another branch, a knop and a flower. So throughout the six branches going out of the menorah, and in the menorah were four bowls made like almonds, his knops and his flowers, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same. According to the six branches going out of it, their knops and their branches were of the same. All of it was one beaten work of pure gold. And he made at his seven lamps and his snuffers and his snuff dishes of pure gold of a talent of pure gold may he it, and at all the vessels thereof. And he made at the incense altar of shittim wood. The length of it was a cubit, and the breadth of it a cubit. It was four square. And two cubits was the height of it. The horns thereof were of the same, and he overlaid it with pure gold, both at the top of it and at the sides thereof round about, and at the horns of it. Also he made unto it a crown of gold round about, and he made 
two rings of gold for it under the crown thereof, by the two corners of it, upon the two sides thereof, to be places for the staves to bear it withal. And he made at the staves of Shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. And he made at the holy anointing oil, and at the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the work of the apothecary.